Well, Thanksgiving always been my holiday, though. I, you know, I, I, before I lost this weight, I prepared for Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I think the pilgrims and the Indians <laughs> for coming together and blessing me with this wonderful holiday. I love it. I prepare, I would prepare myself for Thanksgiving. I would take three X-Lax, flush all my system out, <laughs> smoke four blunts. I'd come in that some bitch, I'd be carnivorous up in that mouth. <laughs> Somebody, hey boy, hey, hit that mother bit me. What the wrong with you? I'm ready to eat, you understand? I'm ready to grub. And I always go to my mama house, cause my mama cook up a mother stone. And I be preparing myself. I have a food schedule. First, I'm gonna start off with my vegetables. You know? That's my pork chops and my chitlins. <laughs> and my fried chicken. Then I'm gonna go back for my meats, you know? <laughs> Then I go back with my miscellaneous, all the shit I missed the first two turns. You know, I get the mac and cheese, the potato salad, get the shit my sister brought. We don't know what the fuck it is. I just go, go and put that on my plate. And you know, you get full and you get sleepy. And my mama said, ain't time to sleep. We got to get up. We got to go. I said, where the fuck are we going? We got to get in line for Black Friday. Oh my God, man. I used to hate Black Friday standing up at Walmart trying to get a waffle iron for $10. <laughs> and then if we wait till the next day, you can get that same waffle iron for $5. <laughs> we in line, it's cold as shit, and we fighting and shit. And I feel sorry for white folks. In line. I don't know why white folks come out on Black Friday. Y'all just, boy, black people so evil, black people. I seen this one brother just elbow the shit out of his wife, like, move, bitch. <laughs> knocked her down. <laughs> she knocked her down. This man, she fall around her son, said, hey, you can't do that to my mother. <laughs> Come back here! And his mama grabbed him by the arm and said, no, no, Jeremiah, no. Let him have it. Why? This is their day. <laughs> and Jeremiah looked at his mama and said, well, what day do we have? White Christmas. <laughs> That comes to Christmas, though. Christmas, Christmas is a good holiday. It's when everybody be in love. I know it's Jesus' birthday, but I ain't never had no good Christmas when I was a kid. I ain't had one. I mean, it was okay, you know. It, it was all right. Christmas, Christmas was weird because it lied to the black kid. You know, we lived in the hood, watched all them bullshit-ass cartoons. Santa Claus is coming to town and all that shit. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, all that little wonderful show. And then it was all that little you know, show with the little girl be like, she be standing out there looking, everyone. <laughs> Wake up, it's snowing, it must be Christmas. And they run down, say, they happy as shit. I got my dollhouse, I got my fire truck, I got my BB gun, I got a puppy, I got a duck. Damn, you got two pets? Ain't that a bitch? That's a beautiful Christmas. My Christmas never did like that. My mama didn't wake us up till 12 noon. She's standing there with a house dress on top. All right, go on down there and open your shit. We running out there, yay! <laughs> and before we can get to the <laughs> end of the step, my mom's like, hold on. Hold on, I gotta say something. <laughs> the kid's excited, so we so proper. What is it, mother? <laughs> I just wanna let y'all know, I did my best. <laughs> that comes to Christmas, though. Christmas, Christmas is a good holiday. It's when everybody be in love. I know it's Jesus' birthday, but I ain't never had no good Christmas when I was a kid. I ain't had one. I mean, it was okay, you know. It, it was all right. Christmas, Christmas was weird because it lied to the black kid. You know, we lived in the hood, watched all them bullshit-ass cartoons. Santa Claus is coming to town and all that shit. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, all that little wonderful show. And then it was all that little you know, show with the little girl be like, she be standing out there looking, everyone. <laughs> Wake up, it's snowing, it must be Christmas. And they run down, say, they happy as shit. I got my dollhouse, I got my fire truck, I got my BB gun, I got a puppy, I got a duck. Damn, you got two pets? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> 
that's a beautiful Christmas. My Christmas never did like that. My mama didn't wake us up till 12 noon. <laughs> She's standing there with a house dress on, so, all right, go on down there, open your shit. We running out there, yay! <laughs> and before we can get to the <laughs> end of the step, my mama like, hold on. Hold on, I gotta say something. The kids excited, so we so proper. What is it, mother? I just wanna let y'all know, I did my best. All right, shit, I'm going back to bed. I know what that fucking mean. Draws and socks. I ain't get shit for Christmas. Well, I'd be glad when you get a dude so we can get some of my shit out the layaway. This is some bullshit. You knew we couldn't get nothing. Why you make us make a fucking list out and you ain't gonna get us nothing on the damn list? Some bullshit. Wake me up when the ham done, I guess. <laughs> and see, see, being, being, being a little black kid live, going to like a predominantly white school, they, they, they tell you shit that don't always matriculate or whatever the right word is <laughs> in a black house, you know? Like, when you get home, my baby sister teacher told her to string up popcorn and put it around the tree as garland around your tree. And my baby sister popped all the popcorn in the house and put it around the motherfucking tree. We came down one Christmas, there's all these little black, little shiny things around there. My mom like, ooh, ma, you bought some Christmas lights? She said, ain't about no damn Christmas lights. Ooh, they moving. Them roaches, what the fuck? <laughs> Who done put this popcorn around the damn tree? Take the tree outside and shake the fucking tree out. My teacher said we was supposed to put some the popcorn around the tree. Your teacher didn't pay for that fucking popcorn. That was good popcorn we could have fucking ate. What the fuck you stringing around the tree? Now shake the tree out. We shook in the tree. All the roaches just ran back up under the house. I said, Mama, them was special roaches. Them was Christmas roaches. <laughs> One thing I hate about Christmas, Secret Santa. I can't stand Secret Santa. Secret Santa can kiss my ass. I can't stand your punk ass Christmas Secret Santa because I never got shit I wanted. One year I finally got something and I was in the Christmas spirit when I got it. I got something I really wanted, that Hardy's gift card. <laughs> oh yeah. I couldn't wait to get to Hardy's the next day and go order my, get my regular. I walked up to the counter and the other lady said, what would you like to say? Oh, I would have the usual. <laughs> I would have the Hardy Big Star Burger, extra patty with cheese. I like your curly fries and a side of onion rings and to make the fries season, thank you. A large chocolate shake, a large chocolate shake and a medium diet Coke. Young lady said, yes, that'd be 1925. I was there. How would you like to pay? I said, gift card. <laughs> Little girl swiped the gift card. Boop, boop. I'm not talking to people. Yeah. Boop, boop. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on, excuse me. Well, what you mean by uh oh? Uh, I swiped it. You don't have enough for your meal. I'm like, girl, you better stop playing. Go on and swipe that again, kids. They're hilarious. Blue, blue. Uh-oh again. I said, first of all, your ass ain't got to keep on saying, uh-oh. <laughs> that shit ain't funny no damn boy. You know what? Get the goddamn supervisor over here. Bring a supervisor. Let me talk to him, because you, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. And she called the supervisor. Hi, I'm Jeff, the supervisor. What can I do for you? I said, well, Jeff, I got this gift card. It's a minimum of $20. It's a secret Santa card. And I know I have enough on here for the gift card. Could you swipe this? Because this young lady don't know what the hell she's doing. And so he swiped it. Mm -mm. But uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh the fuck you mean, uh-oh? Why you keep saying, uh-oh? Oh, well, sir, you don't have enough for your meal. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. How, how much do I have enough for? He said, a regular fry. I said, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> and I'm mad as hell. I'm mad. I'm mad as fucking hell. I'm mad, man. I ain't just a bitch. I'm mad. I'm sitting there like, damn. And I'm thinking to myself, whoever gave me that secret Santa card said, girl, if I could be a fly on the wall. <laughs> and see that big motherfucker try to order what he usually get. Girl, I would die. It's so funny, I know that man right now. 
again. And I was so mad, and he gonna say, sir, would you like the regular fly? Yes. <laughs> would you like the rest of your order? Yes. How would you like to pay for it? Fuck a debit card. Here, motherfucker. I hope I don't have to say uh-oh again. Fuck you, boys. You keep on being funny. He swiped it. I got my food. I ate it with tears in my eyes. I was mad as a motherfucker. Son of a bitch. I hated Secret Santa all that time. So Christmas came around again, and we was about to pull, pull names again. I was like, fuck it, I ain't doing this shit this year. And then my little, little, little niece looked at me and said, Uncle, Uncle, I hope I get your name again. <laughs> I said, what you mean? Well, I got your name last year, and I got you what you wanted. I got you, I got you a Hardy's gift card, because I know you like Hardy's, and I got you a Hardy gift card. You did that? <laughs> She said, I did, because I love you. I said, oh, come here. And I hugged her, and I looked in her face. I said, Heff, if you ever do that shit again, I'm going to fuck your ass up. You know damn well you could have bought that money for your goddamn mama have you up in that fucking heart. He's looking like a damn fool. Don't you do that shit no damn more. Merry Christmas. <laughs> came back, came back for y'all. Came back with a new look. I look a lot different than the first time. I know. I know some of y'all a little mad at me, like, what the hell happened? <laughs> what do you do? What? Is he dying? Is that why he came back home? <laughs> no, no. I ain't get a hold of no bad ass booty or nothing. <laughs> I sure ain't on no damn crackers. I ain't sucking nobody's dick, so. <laughs> hey, I, I had to lose weight. My service engine like kept coming on, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I was about to check the fuck out, you know what I'm saying? When you walk up two steps and your head like, God damn, whew. was that five flights? No, it was just, it was two, two steps. <coughs> well, y'all going in here. I'm gonna be in there in a minute. Just, do they got the air on? We outside, damn. Somebody must got a window closed. <laughs> I knew I'd get too heavy when I got that old, that nightmare sleep where you, you stop breathing in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just stop breathing? <laughs> I might as well get up and eat an orange and run around this bed. That was a sign from Jesus. I was getting out of hand. I was getting out of hand. I was in fat denial. I was in denial, I ain't think all that big till one time I took a shower and got out my back, was drying the motherfucker. I was like, I was like, like, wait a minute. Now I know I turned around. Where did that water go? <laughs> But uh, I was in denial. I was taking my diabetes medicine <laughs> with sweet tea. I was fucking up. <laughs> I was fucking up. I was, I was fucking up. I, 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 was on, I was on my way out of here. <laughs> That's why I had to get it together, you know. You know, just love yourself fat first. Don't be, don't be hating yourself because everybody else hates you. I don't like you, you. I don't like you, big. I don't like you at all, bitch. <laughs> Well, Thanksgiving always been my holiday, though. I, you know, I, I, before I lost this weight, I prepared for Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I think the pilgrims and the Indians <laughs> for coming together <laughs> and blessing me with this wonderful holiday. I love it. I prepared, I would prepare myself for Thanksgiving. I would take three XLX, flush all my system out, <laughs> smoke four blunts. I come in that some bitch, I'd be carnivorous up in that mouth. <laughs> So I'm like, hey boy, hey, hit that motherfucker bit me. What the fuck wrong with you? I'm ready to eat, you understand? I'm ready to grub. And I always go to my mama house, cause my mama cook up a motherfucking stone. And I be preparing myself. I have a food schedule. First, I'm gonna start off with my vegetables. You know? That's my pork chops and my chitlins. <laughs> and my fried chicken. Then I'm gonna go back for my meats, you know? <laughs> 
Then I go back with my miscellaneous, all the shit I missed the first two turns. You know, I get the mac and cheese, potato salad, and get the shit my sister brought. We don't know what the fuck it is. I just gone, gone put that on my plate. And you know, you get full and you get sleepy. And my mama said, ain't time to sleep. We got to get up. We got to go. I said, where the fuck going? We got to get in line for Black Friday. Oh my God, man. I used to hate Black Friday standing up at Walmart trying to get a waffle iron for $10. <laughs> and then if we wait till the next day, you can get that same waffle iron for $5. <laughs> this is time for family trips, too. This is where everybody go on family trips. We do, we do family trips. Black folks, we don't do family trips well. We, this is how we plan it. Girl, we about to go down to Florida. You going shit, I might as well go. I ain't got shit to do. When y'all going? Probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that. Girl, let me know shit. I'm ready to roll. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got shit to do. Just broke up with this motherfucker. I'm ready to get out of town anyway. Hey, we gonna do this. We, that's how we plan. We don't do it right. White folks, white folk, you know, I ain't saying they better, but they just plan shit strategically. That's how they do. Okay, what we gonna do? We're headed to Disney World. Everyone excited? Yay! All right, we're gonna meet up at the Walmart on Hanley, and then we're, we're gonna follow Steve. Steve has a great GPS, which can synchronize with all of our iPhone. We're gonna trail him on down. Our first stop will be the Cracker Barrel. Oh my God, Cracker Barrel, I love Cracker Barrel. I know everybody else likes Cracker Barrel. Oh man, fantastic. Got some delicious apple butter, and I love that hash brown casserole barrel. I well, it's to die for, okay. and. We're gonna shop at the little country store in front. I found some nice knickknacks in there. And then we get on the highway, we're heading on down. Our next stop will be the Stuckies. Oh my God. If you've never been to Stuckies, a fabulous little restaurant, delicious. They got a great country fried steak and they got a pecan log that you gotta try. If you haven't. <laughs> you gotta try it, fantastic. And then we're headed on down to Orlando, Florida, where we'll be at Disney World. We're staying at the Holiday Inn Select. We all have our confirmation number, and we should be in there or probably, probably at dusk. Now, I don't know what the fuck time dusk is. That's white people time. It's like 814, 645, 888. I don't know what the fuck dusk is. But I know when dust come, white people go in the house, and so do I, shit. Where you going in the house? Right? Fucking dust? You better get in the house. <laughs> Black folk, we just don't plan it like that. We don't plan it like that. <laughs> like, this is how our family trips start off. <laughs> Y'all better pee now. Cause I ain't stopping until I see that motherfucking mouse, you hear me? We meet in mama house at 415, right? Who ain't there, wasn't coming, huh? We got three cars to choose from. We got my Chrysler 300 and only adults riding that bitch who can smoke and can roll a blunt and drink. That's only one fuckers riding. If you can't do none of those things, get the fuck out of my car, you understand? All right, you got the station wagon in front. It seats about 15, 20 if y'all want to ride in that bit. But our service engine light keep coming off. And if that shit break out on the highway, I guess we gonna see y'all when we get back. Cause we'll, once we start pushing this bitch, we rolling, you understand? We, but black folks, I know one thing about us. Horror movies to us are learning manuals. For real, when we watch a horror movie, that's all we fucking need. We didn't need to go experience the shit. We watching this fucking movie, and we know that we ain't supposed to do that shit. For real, like, Jason, we, we watched Jason, part three, Friday 13th, we ain't go camping. Ain't nobody go camping. Ain't nobody fucking, we don't need to. Go on out there if you want to, motherfucker. <laughs> Jason gonna fuck your ass up. And I thank white folks for that. They teach us a lot of shit, because black people are not inquisitive. Somebody come up missing, Charles gone. <laughs> He must have had to do something. <laughs> we need to look for him. Fuck Charles. He didn't tell us where he was going. Ain't no reason to look for him. Apparently, we wasn't invited. <laughs> I'm scary as shit. I sleep with my gun on the nightstand. I don't play that shit. My wife wake me up in the middle of the sleep. Baby, wake up. <laughs> 
I hear somebody downstairs. I pull my gun out. Pow, 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 pow. Shoot through the floor. What the fuck you doing? You said you heard somebody downstairs. Well, I'm sure they heard that. That could have been one of the kids. He could have came in here and said he was about to go downstairs. Fuck, you think I'm gonna get out of my safe ass bed to walk down there to get fucked up? <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I believe in Jesus. I love Jesus' death. I hope he comes back. When he comes back, he come and get me. But I'm a little worried. Because I read in the Bible, he said he's coming like a thief in the night. And I like, shit. Don't, don't fuck up, Jesus. Please don't fuck up. <laughs> My child, pow! Pow, pow, pow! I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. Why you didn't just call me or something? Did I get you? Can you heal thyself? Why you ask me why I shoot? I shot you. You know me better than I know myself. You know what kind of motherfucker I am? I remember when that movie Candyman came out. Remember Candyman? That, remember, we were teenagers when Candyman came out. Black folks were scared of motherfucking Candyman. <laughs> but we and my cousin, the guys on my uncle Weed, right? And we, and we was walking around talking about, man, I heard that motherfucker movie Candyman. It was based on the true story, dog. That shit for real, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now. Man, I say, man, shut your stupid ass up. Ain't no coming out no mirror. <laughs> shit, all right. Go on and go in that motherfucking mirror, say his name five times, and see don't he fuck your ass up. <laughs> Whoever said it the most win the $10, all right? <laughs> Bet, fuck that. <laughs> Candy man. <laughs> Candy man. Man, <laughs> told you, motherfucker, he ain't coming. You ain't say it five times. Shit, he ain't come the first three times. Guess he ain't home. <laughs> Move your punk ass out of the way. I knew you was scared. No, I ain't. Where he go there? He go, my boy, cause he come up there. He got gang shit. Fuck this motherfucker. Candy man. Candy man. Candy motherfucking man. Man candy. I said, don't fuck up, and the gay ghost come through there and rape all of us. <laughs> I said, yeah, y'all ain't saying no four times. I said it four times, give it $10. I said, motherfucker, you didn't say it four times. You said, man, candy, shit, that's still candy, man, backwards. Fuck that. Give him that $10. I said, all right, all right, he won the $10. He talking all this shit. Y'all some bitches. Y'all bitches, those scary motherfuckers. Later on that night, that motherfucker got in a deep ass sleep. <laughs> I got under the bed. <laughs> And I grabbed that motherfucker's leg. Did you call me, Dad? <laughs> when I tell you that motherfucker shit all other bed <laughs> and ran out of house, we he ain't been over our house since. We, I'm 48 years old. Hey man, you coming by and say what's up, man? I would, man. So busy now. Still scared. <laughs> and we ain't stopping for shit. We'll pee on the side of the road. We're going to keep pushing this bitch. We ain't stopping to eat. We got a whole lunar fall pan full of fucking chicken wing. We got a cooler full of no-name soda. You know them, you know them no-name soda just say lemon, lime, and cola, and grape, and orange, root beer. Then they got that one you ain't never heard of, cream. What the fuck is cream? We don't, we don't even know what cream is. We don't know what it is. It's always that last one in the fucking ice. What's left, cream? <laughs> Shit, there ain't no orange left. Who are they all the motherfucking orange? <laughs> but it'd be a but it'd be a whole case of Pepsi, right? We don't, but that Pepsi, you bet not touch that motherfucking Pepsi. 
That's Big Mama Pepsi. You touch that Pepsi, you might as well walk the fuck home. <laughs> One year we was riding my cousin, said, she don't need all that damn Pepsi. You know she got diabetes. We ain't seen that motherfucker since. <laughs> Anybody seen Junebug? Don't you say nothing about your Junebug. <laughs> we gonna be on the highway. We gonna be leave. We gonna leave 4:30 in the morning. We gonna be on the highway. We I E T A for Orlando, Florida, Disneyland. Gonna be a week from tomorrow. <laughs> cause we gotta take back roads. Cause Uncle June got warrants and we don't want him. Since he's driving us, we don't want his ass to get in no trouble. So if you wanna go, we going. We should be at Aunt Cheryl's house <laughs> that, around that time. And we could all stay with her. She got a two bedroom assisted living. <laughs> And I'm sure she ain't gonna mind us staying with her. We get all the way down there, we can't even go to Disney World, because Uncle June, post, he got tickets, but, <laughs> but he ain't looking the date. They've been expired since 2006. He's like, shit, I ain't know they had no spy tags on them shit. I, I got them when I retired, I thought they were good till then. What the fuck, he retired from Christ back in 2004. What the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> That shit, well, we can still go. Yeah, we gonna go and take pictures out in front of the gate. We can't get in. The kids having them up, they pull right in. <laughs> I think that's Mickey Mouse over there, right there. No, that's a girl with Afro puffs. That ain't no Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but we can't, we can't even stay long, because there's always that one punk-ass family member didn't take all the days off, so we gotta leave early. We got to get home Sunday night. Why, Cynthia? I got to be at work on Monday. Half of you knew we was taking this trip a year ago. Why your black ass didn't take off? I didn't have a job a year ago. Which bitch, you ain't going to have one now. I just got hired at Wendy's. Bitch, fuck Wendy's. They going to need somebody else to chop them onions because we ain't going home. One thing about holidays, like Easter Sunday, uh, you know, anybody go to church? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. anybody go to church. But I ain't like Easter, because every other kid I knew on Easter Sunday, they mama took them to the store and buy them a, buy them a nice little outfit to wear out of Sears. You know, Sears had the little boy with the vest and the little, little mannequin with the towel and the little boy clean as a motherfucking tack. I said, ooh, I want that one. Mama, nah, uh uh. I'm gonna do you one better. I'm making everybody outfit. I'm like, oh shit. I'm, I hate she took that sewing class. That shit's some bullshit. You know, cause I used to hate, I, like school starting now, I hate going for school clothes cause I was a chunky kid. It didn't, it wasn't no fun. Everybody else going to the dressing room, come out, come out of here. Let me see if, how you busting out of these damn pants. <laughs> I walk out of there, trash, turn around. <laughs> Lord, Lord, how are your hips bigger than mine? No, all right, can I take them off now? Yes, please, for your bus island. <laughs> and I used to hate her, she had to measure our outfits and stuff. You used to piss me off with that shit. All right, she measured my sister, you a one and you a two. Now stand on that side and hold the tape measure so I can measure your brother ass. <laughs> And she put the tape back and said, mm, mm, mm. Boy, every year you get bigger and bigger. I, well, that's fine. I'm supposed to. It's natural. I'm a human being. I'm supposed to grow. Up, not out. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know if I got enough material to make your outfit. I said, but we going to go with polka dots this year. I said, no, mama, I, I can't go with polka dots. Why not? I said, Mom, I'm a fat little boy. I got polka dots on my back. Kids gonna push me down to play twist on my back. <laughs> Shut your ass up. You'll be all right. But the thing about it, my mama can make, make my sister's dresses. She make her dresses. But my mama drinking all the damn strawberry daiquiris. By the time she got to my damn shit, she was drunk as a motherfucker and nodded off. Got the jacket and the pants done, but didn't do the lining. It still got pins in this motherfucker. Pants sticking in my damn neck. I said, can you finish this? No, we gotta go to Sunrise Service. I'm like, shit. So I put some tape on it. This shit still sticking me in the fucking neck. And one of the reasons why I ain't like Easter Sunday, because of the Easter speech. 
Oh my God, I hated Easter Speed. When I was a little bitty kid, it was all right, because when you're little, like three, they give you the best Easter Speed. It was simple. My baby sister got that cool ass Easter Speed. She said, Happy Easter. <laughs> it's gone by the fucking business. I said, Damn, that's the one I want. Then my middle sister, Ronnie, she had, she was, she was always smart anyway. Her ass, she gonna get, she had a whole paragraph, right? She had a whole paragraph, but you know, girls, girls are naturally smart from, from, for real. Yeah, you can give yourself a round of applause, most definitely. From like five on up, they smart as shit. By the time they get to 18, get some dick in their life, they lose all of them. Women don't like that joke. Fuck you. It's true in fact. Look at her with this motherfucker with narcolepsy. When she was a little girl, she would have never been with a sleeping motherfucker like that. Oh, me old drowsy ass motherfucker. I love, I love my mom. My mom introduced me. That's my girl. I'm a mama's boy. I ain't no punk ass mama's boy. I, you know, I got a beautiful wife. That's my real mama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I mean, my mom and my girl, you know, I got her back. You know, she got mine. She was there in the ugly days, you know. You know, when, you know, when I come home and, my, and I look at my mom, my mom's like, mom, my little girls are so mean to me. <laughs> they were calling me fat and ugly. And my mama grabbed me and said, the devil is a lie. <laughs> I said, the devil is a lie. Ain't nothing ugly about my baby. I said, I know, mom, but they call me fat too. Just like I said, ain't nothing ugly. <laughs> Gave me half love, it was what it was. Some of it was painful, some of it was thick, you understand? But you know, I mean, that's how mamas is. You know, mamas got your back, mamas love you. So you, how many mothers out here? Mothers clap, clap. Yeah. And did you get something good for Mother's Day? Yeah, all right, all right. Mother's Day is important. You gotta get your some flowers, or you gotta rob a bank to get your mama some. You gotta get us some. Mom, Mother's Day is special as shit. Even the sales is better for them. Come to Macy's. Mothers get stuff from Macy's. K Jewelers. Mother's, Mother's Day sale for K Jewelers. Come to Target. Come to fucking Dillard. Come to hell. Come to the rummage sale and flea market. Mother's Day. <laughs> Don't forget your mother. It's mama, mama, special. You can't get a reservation at a restaurant during Mother's Day. Hell, you can't even go to White Castle on Mother's Day without a reservation. How many for your party? <laughs> How many for your party, sir? <laughs> you have a long, long wait for some white castles. At school in, kids come on making gifts they made at school. Got candy and snacks and shit for mama. Because they got that guilt. All that guilt, your guilt. You forget your mama things, your mama's like, don't worry about giving me nothing, baby. All that 19 hours of labor. Uh, <laughs> I had to go through, had to have seven C-sections just to get you out of me. Then I breastfed you, sucked all the muscle out of my titty, and I, <laughs> but I still loved you. And then you broke your baby bed so many times, I had to put it on brick. But don't worry about poor old mama. Your mama don't need nothing. I slept in the bed with your ugly ass daddy to bring your ass in the world. I could have went down to Planned Parenthood and got rid of your stinking ass. <laughs> But it's fine, though, you know, and when you, you was in that burning house and I ran in there, <laughs> got you out and I ain't get the use of this pinky finger no more because it burnt up in the fire, but I kept it. Remember that I saved my baby. God, God saved my gift. That's, that's what you are to me. You my, God, fuck it. I'm finna go steal some shit right now. <laughs> but see, and see, black folk, we, you know, we, we celebrate holidays different. That's why I call this home for the holidays, because we celebrate holidays different. We just, it ain't no different. The culture thing, every place, everybody has their way of celebrating holidays, like 4th of July. We call it the 4th. 
We don't call it Independence Day. We don't know the fuck what. Well, who got Independence? Yeah. Every time I drive through the do, I got to put on two seat belts, put my license and my motherfucking insurance card, and make sure my tags ain't expired, and have four white friends riding with me <laughs> to make it out that bitch safe. You understand? Fuck that of independence. We just call it fourth or a day off. That's all we call it. We don't celebrate it like that. We don't even do it the right way. Shit. We get we we have a we have a picnic at the at the park. We don't even do the picnic right. We don't do it right. What we do? We just get, we get down to the pavilion early. We didn't even get a, a petition for the pavilion. We just see a motherfucking pavilion open. We walk right in that bit and put our shit up. Hey. White people come through, excuse me, do you have <laughs> Pavilion 19? My thug ass cousin stand up, shit, we got here at 6 o'clock, wasn't nobody out this motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all welcome to cook with us. <laughs> okay, you just have a happy fourth. It always start off, my uncle out there, my big uncle out there cooking, he grilling that shit, smoking, he got that water splash, got that towel and wiping that sweat off back, got them cut off shorts, he cooking, got his Al Green playing and shit. He got cooking, he tasting meat right off the grill. Meat 300 fucking degrees, put it right in the mouth. <laughs> two more minutes, two more minutes, two more minutes. Two more minutes, your black ass gonna be in the ambulance. What's wrong with you? What's your mouth made of? Asbestos? What the fuck going on? <laughs> and then my auntie, she show up early. She out there waiting for she want to get first dib on the meat. Her big ass out there got a bottle off, spraying mosquitoes, and swatting with a fly swatter. Talking about these mosquitoes keep flying between my legs. I said, they probably trying to commit suicide. <laughs> And why are you 68 without no drawers on? What kind of bullshit is that? It ain't that damn hot. I looked between your legs, thought you were sitting on the bulldog. I ain't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> Somebody get Aunt Jenny some panties, please. <laughs> My Uncle June's out there, he, he an old player. You know he grown, but he got on them cut off shorts with a belt on. And he got on them socks. This is where you know he grown, cause he got them two socks on with the stripe all around the top with some dress shoes on. Ain't that the best? And then, then he got he got all he got a chest there right in the middle, but he got a whole bottle of baby powder all over that shit that he doused it like four squirts up in that motherfucker. It just looked like a white mountain right there in the middle of his damn chest. And then he got that shark too medallion down there, and then he got all the rest of his hair bones all balled up together to make one big ass hair and bone. But he got all them cologne oils on. He got two cologne oil, cologne oil combinations. Mother got Dracar and cold water mixed together. And mosquitoes flying around his ass like he's a Jesus. <laughs> And they biting everybody to come there to potato salad. <laughs> and I was like, damn, that, why they ain't biting you, Uncle June? He said, shit, because I got on skin so soft. <laughs> you know, skin so soft is black people bug repellent. It don't repellent, but it's hard to bite a greasy Negro, you know? <laughs> Mosquito trying to bite that motherfucker. 